Hello everyone, here I am and I'm pretty nervous, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, I hope I don't chicken out, not because I don't feel like what I have to say is worth getting out there, but um, because when you're sharing something personal and close to your heart, it just feels, um, it feels like I'm choosing to lean into pain publicly. Okay, I'm taking breaks. We're doing deep breathing. We're gonna get through this together. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, here it goes. Yesterday, I posted a um, an Instagram story that said that I was almost ready to start talking about my spiritual abuse, specifically in the charismatic stream of Christianity. Um, and I shared that honestly feeling like I was probably a matter of weeks maybe away from feeling ready to start sharing, but I knew that I needed to just put that out there to give me a push because it's been something that's been on my mind for a while and I just haven't really known how to start. I didn't feel um, like a pressing sense that I had anything that I was ready to say right now. Um, that was until I started reading through questions and responses on the question box. So my palms are sweaty. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing the Eminem song, even though I want to. Um, in addition to sweaty palms, I have sweaty armpits. I, uh, <laughs> my Apple watch kept telling me I had a high heart rate. So I took that off because who needs to see that when you're already nervous? So I guess let's just dive in. Hi. Okay. We're still deep breathing. I don't know how many times I've hit record and then deleted. Like, let's hope the zillionth time is the charm. I, I don't know. It's, just, it's a lot to unpack that I think I'm hoping that the hardest part is just getting started. <laughs> Because if it stays this difficult, y'all, I'm gonna like share today and then I'm, I'm done so for a little bit. I'm gonna have to take, take a little breather, <laughs> go talk to my therapist. Um, but yeah, I'm here because I feel like it's the right thing to do. I've known that um, at least for closure for myself, I was going to need to be on the right side of this. Um, oh my gosh, I feel like the color is like draining from my lips because that's what happens when I start talking about it. Ah! Okay, we're taking a break. Okay, so instead of trying to edit out all of this, I'm just going to leave it because, um, yeah, why not at this point? Also, can I just say how incredibly brave some of you have been for sharing your stories publicly so far? Like, this is not easy. Y'all made it look so much easier than it actually feels like it is, but... Um, I mean it when I say that if sharing my story and my experience can be helpful in one person's life, it's, it's worth it to me. I stopped recording because this. <laughs> I guess in my mind, I just thought that in order to be ready to share that you are past it you know what I mean and um so yeah I'm gonna definitely have an emotional vulnerability hangover after this but I know that this is the more common experience than the beautiful presentation of like oh yeah I went through this this is how I got over it. God is so good. Because there's so much more to it and it's so nuanced. Um, so yeah, there's a lot here, a lot more than I realized. And honestly, the way that I feel, and like I, I'm crying, but I feel it's, it's good. It feels cathartic. It feels like I am doing something that I've felt so like frozen and scared to do for a long time. Um, obviously I care a lot about what goes out on the internet. <laughs> Literally have, I don't want to say judge because I love crying. Crying is 
amazing. Crying is therapeutic. It is good for your nervous system. It's good for so many things. Um, but I just never thought that I was going to be the girl crying on the internet. But if there is something that breaks my heart, it is spiritual abuse. <laughs> and that's hard to explain. So we'll see if this makes the cut. If it does, then just know I'm already embarrassed a little bit. We're back. <laughs> I took a breather. I got a snack. I got some water. <laughs> a pep talk um, and I have my dog over there and she is super cute okay um, also like let's just normalize crying about stuff like this um, so essentially I am feeling um, like I'm ready to get the ball rolling on this and um, a lot of that just stemming from the um, the kinds of responses I got yesterday. Okay, so um, the main responses, if I could break them up into two categories, were those who have been through this or something that they can relate to about this and are um, actively open to resources and helping them process how to move forward. The other half of responders were people who were like, what even is this? Like, tell me more. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I think to myself, I'm so glad that you cannot relate to this and, and like so much so that you don't even know what this is. And like, there were plenty of you out there. So um, that's kind of even validating for my own experience that like, wow, I really was like wrapped up in something that like a lot of people have zero idea like what it even is so um part of me is like we're, we're about to go on a, a ride like a journey together and then the other part of me knows how um difficult it's gonna be to bring any sort of um levity to uh the kinds of things that i need to talk about here all right let's just get into it shall we <laughs> So the charismatic church is, um, like most other Christian denominations, like believe in Jesus. Um, what I would say sets the charismatic church apart from the rest is its emphasis on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And so when I say gifts of the Holy Spirit, we're talking like, uh, miracles, healing, signs and wonders, prophecy, speaking in tongues, um, deliverance, like spiritual warfare, demons, and the like. And as wild as all of that might sound to some of you, um, believe it or not, that's actually not my, like the root of my problem with what's been going on in the charismatic movement. Like it's not the, the gifts themselves or the move of the Holy Spirit itself. Um, it's many other things. Honestly, um, the bigger problem I have with the charismatic church is um, the additional emphasis on authority structures, um, unity in the Holy Spirit that must align with those authority people or structures, um, like the heavy emphasis on experiential gifts of the Spirit. So I feel like I'm a better storyteller than I am a fact dispenser. So maybe I'll just start with, how do we get here? 